ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿಂದ ಸಹೋದಿ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನೋ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾಬನ ಮನೋಹರ ವಾಂಶಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ವಶ್ಯಕಿ ಪಾಸಿಂಧು ಬಿಭಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯ ವೈಷ್ಣವೇಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂ ಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚಾಲಂ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ಲಂಘೈತಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ಬಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದಮಾಧವ ಬೃಂದಾವೈತುಸಿ ದೇವೈ ಪಿಯಾ ವೈ ಕೇಶವ ಸಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿ ಪದಿ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂಚ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀಂ ಸ್ವರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುದೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿ ಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ವರ್ವಣ್ಯ ಧೈಯ್ಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟದೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವಿರಂಚನು ತಂ ಶರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯಹಂ ಪನೋದ್ಯಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರ್ಭಿಂದ ಯತ್ಪಾದಲ್ಲವನುಕಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗೋಪವಧೂಷ್ವದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಾಗರ ಸ್ವಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಶಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಿ ಮಾಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ಪ್ರಭು ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದ್ವೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಮತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನಕ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೈಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲ ಯಥಾಕ್ಷ ಭೀಶಾಂಬರೋ ದ್ವಿಜವರೋ ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲೋ ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಮತಾರೋ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೇ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದೋದಿಬ್ಬರೂಪ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ದಿನೀತ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ವಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀರ್ಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ 
यस्यास्ते हृदय संविहित तम निशिंगमहम भजे हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जीव है गतो अच्युत विकर सती माँ भी तीप्ता श्रीष्णो अन्न तो हस्तो जीव है गतो अच्युत विकर सती माँ भी तीप्ता श्रीष्णो अन्न तो हस्तवक उदरम सबनम कुतोष्चित ग्रानो अन्न तो हस्चपलद्रिक काच कर्म सक्ति रुद बहवो शपत्न ईवग्यो पतिम दुलंती जीव है गतो अच्युत विकर सती माँ भी तीप्ता श्रीष्णो अन्न तो हस्तवक उदरम सबनम कुतोष्चित ग्रानो अन्न तो हस्चपलद्रिक काच कर्म सक्ति रुद भावो शपथ नहीं वगैरह पति लुढ़ंती गौरीय गोष्टी पति गौरीय गोष्टी पति शिशिला भक्ति सिंह सरस्वती को स्वामी ठाकुर प्रोपाद परमेश्वर को टोल्ड दैट ईच एंड एवरी टाइम हरि कथा कीर्तन यू जस्ट नीड टू डोज वर एक्चुअली बिजी इन दैट हरि कथा कीर्तन दैट इज एक्चुअली कॉल्ड साधु डोज वर ऑल द टाइम बिजी इन हरि कथा हरि क not all the time they are busy in hari katha kirtan that person is called sadhu sarvakshan all the time he is actually having that serving attitude towards bhagwan and he is all the time actually busy in doing hari krishna seva it is called sadhu that nitya kal from the nitya time all the time those persons who are all the time with all the every effort each and every effort they are actually want to I uh, want to satisfy Krishna. Whatever they are actually busy in doing the satisfaction for Krishna, all kind of efforts they are putting in that to, in order to satisfy Krishna. Whatever they are doing for Krishna, that is called sadhu. That is called sadhu, which each and fra- every fraction of second he is thinking of the Krishna uh, satisfaction of Krishna. In each and every uh, time he is actually busy in that. He just want to do something for Bhagwan. That is all the time busy in uh, doing Bhagavad Seva. That is actually Sadhu. Shila Bhakti Siddhan Saraswati Goswami Thakur Prabhupada speaking in re- written in Vaishnav K. That about the actual symptoms of the Sadhu he has already told there. Kanak Kamini Pratishtha Bhagini. Very nice, beautiful. Uh, in just one word, actually, Prabhupada actually giving the definition of sadhu. So scientific definition Prabhupada has given. Prabhupada actually writing. The who is actually having cup, money, wife, childrens, relatives, fame, position, all whatever is there, all kind of pratishta, name, fame. Actually, who is actually not even a smell of contamination is not there inside his heart. Those who have already just left all these things, we have already left pratishta. This is actually false ego. That we have already left uh, pratishta and we have just uh, left all position, fame. This is actually a uh, thing of a false ego. But sadhu is uh, such a thing that he is not at all having any false ego inside him. For those who have already, for those name position, have already left them. All this. They are actually just bound to leave them. That is called Vishnu. That the same thing, that same sadhu, he is actually anasakta. He don't have any kind of attachment or attraction towards material objects. That is called topmost pure devotee. Prabhupada actually giving the definition in one word. And this actually, whatever the face of this whole material world, this is very dangerous or very good. Lot of faces can be there of this material world. That each and every face actually the material world is coming in front of us. Maybe actually just showing our fear for fearfulness, and sometimes is giving us a very loveful attitude. But this actually material world, this material world, it this kind of uh, when it's coming in front of that pure devotees, they are actually just getting uh, defeated in front of that absolute sadhu, that the topmost paramhans sadhu, in front of them. 
this material world this maya actually just getting defeated in front of them so material world cannot get victory over those paramhans vaishnav it means that maya sansar maya material world that cannot get uh, victory over uh, it is not possible to get victory because sansar prapt maya that is bhagwan already told bhagwan have already told this point it's direct it is actually this is a direct thing that we have to just uh, have to take this kind of vichar like we so that we can just get protected like we can just get protected by that those people who are actually taking the already against gorang mahaprabhu for this i already actually discussing this point that this word atyahar this atyahar word this actually already told here i have already told it previously as well this word in the beginning i have just already uh, told that maybe 20 to 25 days back i have told this point this point this point already this word actually i was discussing from last previous to 25 days prayas just to do efforts this actually i was discussing our actually we have this kind of which are we have this in our mind that those who are actually against chaitanya mahaprabhu those who are actually against chaitanya mahaprabhu and those who are actually all against chaitanya mahaprabhu it means that whole material world is chaitanya mahaprabhu they are against mahaprabhu only they don't know about the instruction of mahaprabhu this is actually he is actually on the pathway of forgetfulness towards chaitanya mahaprabhu those who have actually already have are against chaitanya mahaprabhu for this kind of things they they are having this kind of bodily conception and they have bodily relationship with others all relatives wives everything they have in their life for them they are actually not our own person not at all they are not at all or maybe our mother father grandfather relatives whatever they are they are no one of ours they have no actual relationship with us those who are actually vimukt to chaitanya mahaprabhu bhakti no thakur writing this those who are actually against chaitanya mahaprabhu who those who are all our relatives and fathers but still he is actually uh, not our father how we can understand this point that he is against chaitanya mahaprabhu it is automatically can be understood this point very easily very sudden very uh, with very full focus if you are just seeing this that with the external drama he is doing he is having this sanyas vesh and acharya vesh he is externally having externally he is actually putting his sanyas vesh is this kind of vichar externally is not at all possible but internal uh, internal uh, eyes are required whether he is a sanyas acharya they are actually externally there but inside those who are actually other shacharan or pure devotees are there pure guru vaishnav if you can just uh, fully focus on this point then when you will not go to at that at that platform you cannot understand that point so definitely very carefully you see there is speaking very sweet words and in all the lok vyavhar is just like a sweet knife but you just be careful about this point that that whatever other shacharan of that pure devotees he is actually all against pure devotees actions that whatever the siddhant vichar of pure devotees he don't want to follow it in his own life and whatever he wants to he just wants to do good for pure devotees he is not at all doing he is against their activities he oh, will be doing actually is speaking very sweet voice but uh, he will not be fighting at all because people can know that he is actually a beast so he is not at all doing like that he is with a very very smiling mood and with a very sweet knife with sweet words he will be just uh, be going against guru vaishnav this is very dangerous person actually this is very dangerous person just to understand these kinds of people is not at all possible chanakya pandit have already told that this uh, snake which is very poisonous just by seeing that you will be just very fearful and running away but for seeing him this you will not get uh, run away from that place by seeing the snake you will definitely go away from that place but by seeing him but uh, he is actually more poisonous millions of times than the snake this kind of person who is speaking sweet words he is actually crowed millions and millions of times he is actually poisonous than the snake this chanakya pandit speaking 
so he is actually actually playing with the snake is actually very easy but to play with these kind of people they are very very dangerous they will definitely destroy your life whole life they will actually destroy and all the vaishnav samaj we will just destroy all the vaishnav samaj is in danger now actually they want to destroy this vaishnav samaj this is their actual role and work so you can see very carefully here that if you have this kind of siddhant which are inside your heart and from very uh, lot of times you are actually hearing that uh, guru vaishnav hari katha and you are just doing seva of them and with following their acharan then now you can understand then definitely whatever they are walking eating sleeping and speaking there is actually no acharan in that he has he is actually opposite to acharan it's just like external drama he is showing he just only wants that all those pure devotees there's other shachran etiquette see whatever he wants to serve he is actually want to destroy that he just he don't want to get it implemented to the others he don't want others to implement on this uh, because he is actually asur he is demon you cannot understand that point that he is demon suppose you are think that he i someone wants to make a library for me he will actually destroy everything for that he will not allow others to implement on that but uh, he, in the mat he just want to get a marriage So he definitely he will do that because more money will come so by just seeing this kind of character and acharan there actually i have just given one stamp on him by the kripa of krishna that he is actually number one fraudster so that's why all the time be careful about this point so those who are actually against chaitanya mahaprabhu their actual symptom is that they are all other shachar and etiquette of pure guru vaishnav and siddhant which are of pure guru vaishnav whatever he will be doing service he is actually against them maybe he will be speaking very sweet words in front of us but uh, but you can understand this like that so whatever uh, mother father parents grandfather relatives whatever is there bhakti mohan thakur ji has actually written this point that like this those who are actually against uh, chaitanya chaitanya mahaprabhu's instruction that i don't have any relationship with them that uh, just uh, the proper speaking that the that kind of bad association you just need to avoid that that is actually definitely will get that satsang why because uh, bad association to leave that it means that definitely if somebody actually is doing madness that i have already just left mad association now actually what you are doing now after uh, leaving bad association you are not doing satsang you are not doing good association so what is the use of leaving that bad association so it, it uh, because you don't have that desire to take a good association it means that definitely you will become mayavadi prabhupada actually speaking those who are actually having no uh, desire to have that satsang good association by leaving that bad association it will definitely he'll be mayavadi definitely he'll not become pure devotee so like this just by leaving that bad association after leaving that bad association it means that to just uh, take bad a good association to take the association of pure guru vaishnav you just need to take the association of pure guru vaishnav when you are when you are you're not getting that actual permanent sadhu sang in your life when you are not at all getting a sadhu sang in your life up till that point up till that point up till that point that kind of bad association to quit that to leave that is not at all possible those who are actually Uh, that all the devotees of chaitanya dev who are actually against them and uh, that kind of achar vichar father she is actually against them okay whatever he is doing let them do he is actually getting distressed in that he is becoming sad he can get uh, sad he can become distressed as well externally he is not at all speaking the oh let him speak what to do he is actually speaking like this only it just speaks that's it he is actually having that kind of distressful bhav or whether he will be getting against against bhavi has definitely this is the actual symptom of them that they are actually kapat they are actually uh, just by speaking chaitanya vimukh you can understand this one that they are against chaitanya mahaprabhu's instructions and those who are actually busy in the whole day and night is actually discussing hari katha he is actually he is a devotee he is pure devotee and those who are actually I actually want to satisfy the Krishna sense organs and sense organs of Krishna, and they are actually all the time busy in satisfying the sense organs of Krishna. That transcendental organs, sense organs of Krishna, is all the time actually busy in uh, uh, giving anand to those uh, transcendental sense organs of Krishna. This kind of which are if they don't have, then he is actually. want to just uh, speaking all the kind of material uh, things in front of us and is busy in that speaking material things then definitely he will become uh, he will be just getting onto the nirvishesh vichar they are not they are actually asadus and abhakt and and they are asad 
डेफिनेटली दिस इज एक्चुअल सिम्टम ऑफ देयर असाध वर भक्त इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड एक्चुअली दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दिस इज एक्चुअली इज फॉर एन्जॉइंग इस इज जस्ट लाइक एन एन्जॉइंग मूड एंड इट इज जस्ट फॉर आर डिटैचमेंट इन द बोथ ऑफ दैम विल नॉट एट ऑल गेट भक्ति दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दिस इज द एक्चुअल प्लेस ऑफ जगन्नाथ श्री गुरु पाद पद्म दैट इज अ टॉप मोस्ट कृष्ट पृष्ट ही इज एक्चुअली नित्य सद ब्रजवास इज जस्ट बाई स्पीकिंग दैट वैन वी आर एक्चुअली कैन अंडरस्टैंड हिम दैन डेफिनेटली वी विल गेट दैट एक्चुअल स्वरूप इन ब्रजभूमि वी विल गेट द एलिजिबिलिटी टू गो टू ब्रजभूमि दैट श्री गुरु पाद पद्म दैट इज अ टॉप मोस्ट कृष्ण पृष्ट भगवत पृष्ट एंड शुद्ध ब्रजवासी बाई स्पीकिंग हिम लाइक दैट दैट डे वैन वी विल बी अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट एट दैट टाइम वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट वी विल गेट द एलिजिबिलिटी टू गो टू द पाथवे टू ऑफ द ब्रज ब्रजधाम दैट नित्य सिद्ध महाजन दोज हुआ नित्य सिद्ध महाजन दैट श्री गुरु पाद पद्म जस्ट टू गेट हिज अनुगमन एंड डूइंग अनुसरण नॉट टू डू देयर अनुकरण नॉट टू इमिटेट दैम जस्ट टू टेक देयर फुल अदर शर्च एंड एटी के सी इन अवर लाइफ दैट टू डू अनुसरण ऑफ दैट इन अवर लाइफ दैट इज अवर एक्चुअल ड्यूटी टू डू अनुकरण इज नॉट अर ड्यूटी नॉट टू इमिटेट दैम दिस इज नॉट अर ड्यूटी सो इन बाय दिस इफ यू आर एक्चुअली गोइंग लाइक दिस दैन डेफिनेटली द पाथवे टू वर्ड्स ब्रज विल डेफिनेटली गोन ओपन फॉर अस बट इफ एक्चुअली हैविंग दैट इंडिपेंडेंट भाव एंड विद फुल इंजॉइंग मूड दैट बाई योर ओन विच आर एक्चुअली आई विल बी जस्ट मेजरिंग माई गुरुदेव बाय दैट तत्व वस्तु आई विल अंडरस्टैंड इट बाय दिस चैलेंजिंग मूड इफ इज एक्चुअली विल गो विद इन इंडिपेंडेंट भाव ही इज एक्चुअली वॉन्ट टू दैट कैट मेजरिंग भाव ही विल बी डूइंग दैट दैन डेफिनेटली यू विल गेट दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड यू नॉट एट ऑल गेट दैट ब्रज धाम ब्रजवास इज ऑलवेज ऑल द टाइम यूज टू स्पीक दिस लोगा एंड दो विद फुल निष्कपट भाव हरि भाई टू टू सर्व प्योर गुरु वैष्णव दिस इज द काइंड ऑफ एक्चुअल डिजायर ऑल द टाइम इट इज कमिंग इन साइड अवर हार्ट दिस डिजायर दैन डेफिनेटली इज वेरी गुड कंसिडरेशन वेरी गुड पॉइंट दैट निष्कपट भाव वैन वी आर सर्विंग प्योर गुरु हरि वैष्णव सेवा दिस काइंड ऑफ डिजायर इज देयर इन साइड अवर हार्ट एंड वन काइंड ऑफ साउंड इज कमिंग फ्रॉम अवर हार्ट दैन डेफिनेटली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैन दैट इज द एक्चुअल सिम्टम गुड गुड सिम्टम then definitely we have to hear uh, understand that there are not not at all lot of days left here jyada din nahi not n- lot of days are not at all there for us we definitely have to leave this body that uh, just to get the anugatya of gurudev under that we have to uh, develop that serving attitude otherwise there is no other pathway open for us the all the time having that serving attitude should be there inside our if it act, if it, that serving attitude is becoming topmost then other things cannot get inside your heart and material mind and those shri rupanu guru guru pad padma just to take the lotus dust particle of the lotus feet of guru pad padma this kind of desire when it will be there inside our heart that is our actual target that is a topmost target to attain for us to get the dust particle lotus feet of gurudev those rupanu garv gurudev just to get the lotus uh, dust particle of the lotus feet that is our actual wish to attain so definitely we will get the topmost mangal in all the four direction we we can see that mangal jai shri shri guru gorang his seva shri guru gorang what how we can get how we can satisfy them and how they can get happy with us that shri guru and gorang how to uh, get their satisfaction and how they can get the actual happiness in this wish this is actually the topmost full attention we just need to give in on to that and uh, for our own enjoying mood and for our own uh, arrangements of all the enjoying moods and all pratishta name fame position we are actually that our uh, kind of enjoying mood we want to satisfy that it will actually just uh, uh, destroy the bhakti inside the jeev if actually some kind of bhav for guru vishnu will be there for then definitely the jeev will not at all get into their fallen condition their consciousness will get increment in their life this kind of uh, in his hari bhajan we have we have to do hari bhajan for our whole life and for all other efforts which we are doing for external material objects i don't have any time for that in that uh, hari bhajan just for just hari bhajan only i have just be giving whatever i have to do in my life i will definitely gonna do uh, whatever other other efforts i have to do i don't want to do that that is the actual symptom of a pure devotee different different kind of difficulties are coming inside in our pathway and if we will be just getting fearful just by seeing that then definitely hari bhajan is not for us 
Hari bhajan actually means that all the time problems will come in your life. Different different kind of problems and they are actually just giving uh, new new problems to me that if they want to just leave Hari bhajan okay what is the actual uh, actual reason what is the actual problem actually they can just um, uh, put me in problem and they can just uh, insult me or whether you want to follow me or not it's your your choice so different different kind of problems and difficulties will come and if i'll see i'll think that i will actually just leave uh, hari bhajan then definitely hari bhajan is not at all possible hari bhajan means that in all the four direction problems will come to you definitely that yesterday i was just discussing on this point that how brahma ji actually speaking Hey Bhivo, Bhakti is the actual, uh, that is the top mul ashray of all the jivas. Bhakti is the only ashray and uh, sevak vastu for all the jivas. Apart from Bhakti, there is actually, who, who those persons who are actually, they are getting that Keval Advait both Brahma knowledge and they are just following that Keval Advait both they are actually giving lot of efforts to get that Brahma vastu. For them, definitely they will get a lot of distress in their life and they will not get the actual uh, uh, usefulness in their life. They will not at all get anything in their life. And like uh, after the rice is out, that rice husk, the remains of the rice, that kusha is just left on bed. If you will be just uh, putting that, uh, d- d- you will destroy that, then definitely you will get that rice from that. No, it is not at all possible because rice is already out of that. So that the same kind of efforts put by the Keval Advait Vadi, definitely they will not gonna get anything in their life. That uh, they will not at all get that Paramartha in their life. Our uh, Sambandh Gyan we have with the Guru Vaishnava and Krishna, Dham, Nam etc. We have that kind of Sambandh Gyan relationship with the Bhagavan. That is the topmost uh, Divya Gyan we have. Topmost pure Gyan. This is not at all a gyan of Advaitavadi, not the knowledge of Advaitavadi. This Keval Advaitavad knowledge, this cannot can prove this point. They cannot prove this point. They cannot prove this. All the time they are just speaking in the air that this material world is not at all there. This material world is not at all there. It's just like a dream. How it can be dream? Your body is also like a dream. Huh? Your mother, father, relatives and whatever is the sansari you are doing, it is all a dream, no? It's not like that. Santu Goswami Maharaj always used to speak. He is actually speaking to one Mayavadi. Who actually knows that he is actually Mayavadi. He is one professor and his professor has just come in the Sabha. And nobody knows that he is a Mayavadi. And he is just sitting in the Sabha. And Santu Goswami Maharaj that is speaking Harikatha. All the sadhus speaking Harikatha. And this person also got the chance to speak something in the Sabha. That you can also speak something. He is speaking and he is speaking all the time. He is speaking Mayavad. Uh, which are that Jeeva Brahmana Paraha, like this slogan he was speaking, and he is speaking all uh, opposite uh, Katha. It is not Hari Katha, it is Maya Katha. And then Santu Goswami Maharaj, in the Sabha at the last, he is just speaking uh, in front of him. And when he is going after that Vandana, he is actually giving the actual Vyakya of uh, some Bhakti Shastra, and after that. This professor actually he is speaking, You are actually Brahm, no? Yes, yes, I am Brahm. He is speaking. Everyone is Brahm, no? Yes, everyone is Brahm. This no material world is there, no? It's just like dream, no? Yes, yes, no, nothing is there. Then he is taking his stick and just want to beat him with that stick. And this professor is speaking, Oh, oh why, you are, why you are doing, why you are, why you are beating me? Now you are actually speaking, you are Brahm, but Brahm is actually Nirvigar without any shape. And why actually you are getting scared with my stick? It means that you are actually speaking lie in front of everyone. Why you are actually speaking lie? That you have actually Ditya Binivesh. So whatever you are actually speaking in your mouth, Adhvet, Adhvet, what you what is the reason for that? That whole Sabha actually just started laughing. Very loudly they started smiling. In just one fraction of second, they uh, Bhakti Kumar Sant Goswami proved that. Not a lot of uh, words he just need to speak. Just only by one word he has actually proved that. That you are actually speaking lie. So this is all actually useless talks.
यूजलेस टू प्रूव दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग दैट संबंध ज्ञान इज एक्चुअली प्योर वॉट वी हैव रिलेशनशिप एक्चुअल रिलेशनशिप विद कृष्णा एंड विद दैट रिलेशनशिप वी जस्ट नीड टू डू द सेवा ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव भगवान ऑल द टाइम दैट इज द एक्चुअल पैथवे ऑफ भक्ति सो भगवत दस दिस एक्चुअली इज सदर्म दिस इज भागवत धर्म दिस इज आत्मधर्म एंड दिस दिस आत्मधर्म टू जस्ट डू द आत्मधर्म दिस इज द एक्चुअल स्वरूप ऑफ ऑल द जीवास दिस इज द नेचुरल फंक्शन ऑफ ऑल द जीवास टू फॉलो दिस आत्मधर्म दिस जैव धर्म दिस आत्मधर्म दैट भागवत धर्म दैट सनातन धर्म दैट इज द एक्चुअल स्वरूप दैट द एक्चुअल स्वभाव ऑफ ऑल द जीवस दिस इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट नेचुरल विद द जीवस बिकॉज ऑफ दैट द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एफर्ट्स यू डोंट नीड टू पुट इन दैट दैट फॉर जीवस दिस इज एक्चुअली विदाउट एनी एफर्ट दैट टॉप मोस्ट धर्म इज देयर फॉर ऑल द जीवास जस्ट बाई डूइंग भक्ति एंड साधना भक्ति definitely you will be just putting some logical interpretation in that and if we are doing actually bhakti san definitely we have to do in that something no definitely you do something for that yes you definitely this is the actual answer for is that when jeev is in the bonded state when jeev is in the bonded state it means that when he is actually that he is not at all funny that he is not following sat dharma then definitely that sadhan kriya is uh, very much uh, essential at that point i have already done uh, told about bhakti rasamrit sindhu that sadhan kriya and sadhan bhakti is not the same first you that definitely you have to do sadhan kriya because this swadharma it is that kind of love and serving attitude towards bhagwan is not at all there it is just in hidden form now it is in a very fine and hidden form and just by doing bhajan kriya slowly steadily slowly steadily by the kripa of pure guru vishnu that sadhan bhakti pray that sadhan bhakti will be done and by this sadhan only that kind of secret and hidden uh, vritti it will just get uh, expanded in front of you and will just get revealed in front of you manifest in front of you that nitya krishna prem will definitely come in front of you so this actually someone actually speaking actually bhakti in bhakti lot of efforts we have to put no still bhakti is not at all possible oh, no yes definitely it is uh, correct but uh, this uh, kind of natural vritti it in order to manifest that so that not like uh, mayavadi we are actually putting efforts this kind of efforts what we are putting in order to just uh, reveal or manifest our actual swarup in front of us we cannot uh, uh, throw that the efforts of mayavadi are all useless shila rupa swami was speaking that okay still by so sadhan bhajan doing by sadhana that kind of uh, in order to just manifest your hidden uh, bhav so natural uh, bhav in front of that it is not at all under the category of effort effort means to just to make effort for knowledge to make effort for yog and different different kind of efforts for uh, material objects this is actually strictly prohibited to karma kand so karma kand gyan kand this all actually kind of different different kind of efforts it is not at all it is strictly prohibited in that maybe for sadhan bhajan maybe whatever externally efforts you are putting that is actually it is not in the category of efforts this is why because it is actually nitya siddh bhav what is there inside your heart it is order to manifest that in front of you that is why you are doing that so that's why you cannot throw that up that is that you cannot call as uh, prayas as efforts but you know efforts are actually strictly prohibited with full respect by taking the naam ashray taking the shelter of naam slowly steadily you can just see that kind of avidya you it will definitely go away and that sadharm that bhakti towards bhagwan that kind of natural uh, tendency towards bhagwan to do bhakti that is the actual tendency of the atma which is actually hidden uh, and not manifested in front of you it will just get manifested after that when you will be doing sadhan bhajan so actually there is no kind of any stopping for that it is all the time going like this only that rup go swami pad has already told and haven't uh, told uh, uh, about this to not to stop that so atyahar prayas in this it is not at all coming in that yesterday we have was actually uh, discussing this topic that in the gita also bhagwan actually speaking taro ste sham apyakta sat chetasam 
अव्यक्ता ही गति रुदुक्षम देहो वद भी रवापते देखो दिस एक्चुअली यू कैन सी ओनली एंड ओनली दैट काइंड ऑफ एक्चुअल सिंटर और शरणापति विथ फुल श्रद्धा दोज हुर एक्चुअली डूइंग माई उपासना ऑल द टाइम एंड भगवान स्पीकिंग दैट दैट इज कॉल्ड युक्त तम एंड दोज हु आर एक्चुअली टेकिंग दैट अक्षर ब्रह्म एंड ही इज एक्चुअली जस्ट डूइंग द एफर्ट्स टू वर्ड्स दैट एंड दे आर डूइंग साधना ऑफ दैट अक्षर ब्रह्म एंड that all the time with their own material sense organs they are all the time actually with full lot of effort they are actually doing upasana of that akshar brahm that they are actually gyan priyasi they are putting efforts towards the knowledge brahm knowledge but they don't know this point that abhyakt that just to get your uh, heart in that abhyakt brahm it is very much difficult to get that it is not at all possible to get your mind on to that but still mayavadi people what they are doing they are actually they are actually putting one vigra in front of us this is this is not at all archa vigra this is just like a doll you can just see that there is actually no life in that you can go to raman rati all mayavad mayavad is actually are taking he is actually krishna but it is just like a doll everything is there but still it is just like a doll ramanandi sampradaya also you can go archan varchan nothing is there some devotee is actually doing some archan but they this is not their actual uh, this is actually just equal to nothing with that full life like our godiamat that vigra is lively it is not like that at all like a godiamat so in this kind of brahm bhav just having a very it is very much difficult to get our heart onto that that bhagwan is speaking just to get your heart onto our uh, uh, impersonal brain it is very much difficult just by getting this gyan prayas whatever efforts we are having that full relationship with bhagwan and with the full under the guidance of guru vishnu we just want to are uh, getting busy in that then after that that is the actual that is our actual uh, the topmost mangal that is the topmost mangal it will open for us that pathway lot of people actually having this kind of uh, misconception that uh, that in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapurun also it is written samastitah fungsham bisaksena katha suja notpadayet yadi ratim shram evai khevalam dharma dharma samastit jo dharma anushthan karne ka baad those who are actually taking dharma and just by taking that dharma who are following that dharma those who are jivas that those who are actually having these bodies those having this bodies with jivas that human human people humans pure i have already just told this word it means that jivatma is there inside that body who has just taken the human body every jiva actually are thinking that they are following their own dharma if uh, that if we are getting that sadharm in their life slowly steadily if they are not getting their mind onto the lotus feet of hari katha of bhagwan they don't have any kind of uh, interest in that then what will happen in that vishakshana katha suja vishakshan bhagwan that vishakshak bhagwan if you don't have any kind of ruchi in the hari katha of vishakshan bhagwan then whatever the kind of efforts he is actually putting actually uh, all is actually useless whatever he is doing everything is useless in that धर्म एक्चुअली हेयर एक्चुअली मीन्स दैट इज वर्ण आश्रम धर्म दो कर्म कांडी सदर्म दिस इन जनरल वॉट वी आर एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग अबाउट दिस काइंड ऑफ धर्म इफ एक्चुअली एक्चुअली जस्ट इक्वल इन टू आत्मा धर्म देन द मीनिंग इज डिफरेंट सो धर्म संुष्टित इट मीन्स दैट हेयर दैट द जीवाज आर एक्चुअली हैविंग दैट वर्ण आश्रम धर्म इज एक्चुअली फॉलोइंग वर्ण आश्रम एंड डूइंग सदर्म एंड इफ दिस सदर्म अल्टीमेटली will be just giving out not at all putting our ruchi in bhagwat seva and bhagwan naam and it is actually incomplete to give us that then this kind of dharm is useless so this kind of word actually we can understand this dharm sanushtita and about bhagwat dharm it will not be at all possible in that case not at all possible in that case why because this is actually atma dharm so by that what a different different kind of varnashram dharms are there and he is actually following that sadharma 
एंड इफ विल नॉट बी गेटिंग दैट काइंड ऑफ रुचि इन दैट भगवत हरि कथा एंड हरि हरि संकीर्तन वी आर नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग देन इट इज एक्चुअली गोइंग टूवर्ड्स डिस्ट्रक्शन इट इज ऑल यूजलेस टू फॉलो दोज काइंड ऑफ सदर्म सो वॉट वी हैव डन दिस मच काइंड ऑफ सदर्म दिस इज आवर एक्चुअल धर्म बट यू आर नॉट एट ऑल गेटिंग यूर कॉन्शियसनेस अप टूवर्ड्स कृष्ण सेवा देन ऑल एक्चुअली इज यूजलेस टू डू सो लाइक दिस that gyan roop prayas that actually is useless that karma prayas the efforts of karma is also useless if you have actually no kind of ruchi towards hari katha you are, it is not at all getting that that bhakti anukul karma you don't uh, what is actually uh, that is good for bhakti whatever kind of efforts you are doing for that what actually is actually uh, is good for bhakti these kind of efforts we cannot use this word efforts for that it is not in the category of efforts what that efforts which are actually strictly prohibited which is actually anukulya for bhakti we just need to do that like i have already told that uh, about uh, for gorang mahabradu katha prachar for that preaching uh, i have gone to uh, thousands of people came to bandal i just went there for preaching and uh, they have just arranged the hari katha there but still the it will not at all come in the uh, category of efforts efforts are those that they don't have any connection with bhakti and nothing is there no they are actually getting in for connection co- collection money for different different places and taking from other countries is taking lot of money from different even even two three generation can go up till that but still he is actually getting towards money he is just going running towards money for more money this is actually definitely will come in the category of efforts so prabhupad ji and bhakti mohan thakur has just told this kind of vichar just for uh, math temple okay we every know everyone knows that to just maintain math temple you need money but uh, you are taking this money and after that like like madness mad you are just collecting that you don't have any kind of limit for that this is definitely come in the category of efforts that whatever bhakti anukul kriya karm you are doing maybe you are just uh, speaking some siddhant which are just writing some book and this kind of some oriented seva you are doing some just to distribute book this is actually bhakti anukul kriya this is not at all coming in the category of efforts not at all will come in the category of prayas so the siddhant is there that karma gyan prayas it is actually very much dangerous narottam das thakur has just written in the kirtan also has written in the kirtan about this what is it written there kya bhul gaya i actually just forgot that kirtan it's very beautiful kirtan sak karmo sakali bisher bhando je amrito boliya je bas je bas seva kare gyan gyan karmo kando karmo kando sakali bisher bhando yaad ho gaya i just when i just can remember that now sakali bisher bhando amrito boliya je bas je bas seva kare his his life will definitely go into the destruction pathway of destruction if some devotee actually just following varnashram dharma and he is just taking that varnashram dharma and he is just uh, oh, doing that with bhakti anukul vichar he is doing that varnashram dharma and he is just going on to that pathway then definitely it is coming in the way of bhakti it will not come in prayas it not come in efforts and that time that kind he will not it will not be called general general karma vaishnav who are actually who are actually following all varnashram dharma apart from vaishnav it will definitely come in efforts in the vaishnav sansar definitely this will not come on those who are already pratishtit in bhakti but still definitely he, that varnashram dharma he need to follow otherwise that kind of uh, misconception will come in the whole society and instability will be there so externally what kind of which are the devotees uh who are in the varnashram this kind of symptom they just need to uh, actually just uh, riding their own life on bhakti so with nirapeksha bhakti who don't have any kind of desire those all those devotees this kind of apeksha those who have already just uh, left this kind of desire and all lok vivar everything they have just get out of that all material desire if it is like this then definitely that bhakti anukul service they are actually Uh, taking that whether the whole world actually is going against them whether i will give you one example for all the devotees that uh, shrad is not at all necessary for them to do for devotees prabhupada speaking that for pure devotees 
this kind of for mother father and whatever relatives are there grandfather grandmother after they are actually dying that kind of shraad ceremony is going on this kind of shraad ceremony is not at all uh, not for all the vaishnavas because vaishnavas are all that all the time they are busy in seva not at all required for them to do shraad but in this material world those who are actually staying in this household life those are actually external they are following that varnashram they inside they inside their have they haven't taken but external they definitely have to understand they have to if they if they are actually doing shraddha but still for this whole material world this kind of uh, um, condition they are uh, doing it for that internally they don't have any desire to do shraddha at all but still just to so that instability should not come in this whole material world it is they are doing externally shraddha but is next to nothing is not equivalent to that so for definitely he definitely have to give that mahaprasad to that jeevatma then definitely everything will happen vaishnava don't have any kind of uh, place country time nothing they have and purity impurity don't have but no, in this whole material world everything will go unstable so in order to externally just to give respect to the varnashram dar in order to just show that respect to varnashram dar we are actually giving that that he see that he is not at all doing shrad he is actually vaishna oh ho oh, ho so bad actually they will be just uh, just insulting them so that's why they are externally they are doing that but they don't have any shrad at all so prabhupada actually speaking that this shraddha they don't have any shraddha in uh, doing that shraddha but still externally they are doing but that bhakti anukul gyan what is there that anya vilasita shunya i already told this i have already just uh, done in bhakti samne sundar i have already done a lot of time so by this it can we can actually understand that if some kind of bhakti anukul uh, knowledge is there which is actually good for bhakti do you don't need to actually uh, leave that gyan you need no need to leave that knowledge this ashtang yoga etc that kind of brahm knowledge you are want to get and what it is actually the category is coming in sayujya nirvan it is actually strictly prohibited on the pathway of bhakti this is actually all against bhakti and ashtang yoga prayas all kind of efforts towards ashtang yoga ashtang yoga efforts actually just for ashtakal ashtak siddhi he just wants to get this is actually also against the bhakti bhakti sadak that kind of vidhi that achintya bheda ved sambandh gyan with full of that te sambandh gyan it is actually very much topmost sahaj simple and topmost for all the jeevas to follow this is not a kind of a thing a uh, normal very simple thing to follow that is a topmost sadh dharma for all the jeevas what is actually anukule for knowledge for all the bhakti and whatever gyan siddhant towards krishna seva that is not at all against bhakti but that this actually is there anukul what is actually good for bhakti that is actually all the time anukul for bhakti you just need to follow that and otherwise what is there rup ko swami pad has told anya vilasita sunyam this shloka he told that we has to be without any anya vilas inside his heart because gyan karma adi by speaking gyan karma adi sunyam that all kind of gyan mean bhakti anukul gyan that knowledge will also get destroyed but it doesn't mean here that that's why it is speaking anya vilasita sunyam but gyan karma adi anavritam it is should be uncovered means that that gan gyan and karma what is actually anukulya good for bhakti that is not at all prohibited this will actually go there is a green light for that what is actually a bhakti anukul gyan whatever is there in the shastra in the gyan is there it is very much important to take but this actually point is there that what is anukulya for bhakti that what is anukulya for bhakti but what other is actually an pratikul what rup ko swami pad has just told that anya that anya balashi should be not there that he is not speaking that gyan should also be shunya because by speaking that gyan is also shunya that other all kinds of gyan that bhakti anukul gyan will also get destroyed so that's why it doesn't mean like this 
दैट अनिल अन्य अभिलाषित शून्यम बट दैट ज्ञान कर्मादि अनावृत इट इज अनकवर्ड इट मीन्स दैट दैट ज्ञान कर्म वॉट इज एक्चुअली अनुकूल फॉर भक्ति दैट इज एक्चुअली नॉट एट ऑल प्रोहिबिटेड दैट इज दिस इज एक्चुअली विल गो ऑन सो भक्ति अनुकूल तो ज्ञान योग इट इज नॉट कमिंग इन प्रयास एट ऑल अर्चन कीर्तन एटसेट्रा इट इज नॉट एट ऑल कमिंग इन द एक्सटर्नल एफर्ट्स वॉट वी आर मेकिंग फॉर मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड तीर्थ यात्रा परिश्रम दैट वॉट वी आर मेकिंग एफर्ट्स फॉर गोइंग टू तीर्थ यात्रा एटसेट्रा इफ इट इज एक्चुअली वी आर नॉट एट ऑल डूइंग फॉर भक्ति अनुकूल फॉर साधु संघ देन इट विल डेफिनेटली बी गोइंग अगेंस्ट दोज भक्ति अंग लिम्स दैट रोहतम दास ठाकुर हेज ऑलरेडी रिटर्न दिस नो यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड It's already written there. Yatra parisham sakali, eh? Tip to yatra parisham sakali manir ram, eh? Sarva siddhi gobind chhara. To so tirth yatra etc. If you are doing your own will, it is on. It is not at all related to any hari bhakti. But you are actually taking all the devotees and you are just glorifying the actual glorification of Bhagwan and you are going with into the tirth yatra. Then it's okay. but if you are by just to get your uh, unstable mind and uh, you are doing in order to just uh, uh, do that then it is going against bhakti definitely but that if in sadhu sang or as whether you this just by getting that sadhu sang if in sadhu sang that kind of uh, that krishna bhav he is be actually going against the, the krishna bhav and uh, whatever is actually anukul to get that krishna bhav that in order to nourish that bhava krishna bhava that is just like uh, enlightening his own krishna bhava inside his heart he is actually is going to take the dham darshan of krishna seva related to that then it is not at all uh, be counted into external efforts and he is going to hari so here hari katha kirtan and going to tirth yatra with devotee then it is not at all external effort at all so that is the actual uh, so this actually this tirth yatra this kind of uh, actually vishay is there this is very you just be careful on this point that for one devotee and for one person it is coming in the uh, form of external effort and the for the other person for vidur ji this kind of uh, going to tirth yatra it is not at all external effort at all because inside his heart this kind of belief is that that uh, just by taking the darshan of all those pure guru vaishnav and just to take the dust particle of the lotus feet of guru vaishnav and bhagwan this is actually anukul to bhakti that whatever uh, the kind of efforts vidur ji maharaj is making that is not at all external efforts at all what nitanand prabhu has just told us that uh, how to do the tirth yatra that is not at all pratikul this is uh, uh, beneficial for bhakti but when inside our heart this kind of material desires and lust and i'm going uh, going to i'll be going to do tirth yatra and be getting this result that that will be definitely against bhakti because you are asking material things that this kind of limbs of bhakti etc ekadashi vrat etc you are doing this is actually bhakti vrat ang this is limbs of bhakti this is actually it is not at all actually coming in uh, external efforts vaishnav seva whatever you are doing or kind of uh, uh, efforts to just take vaishnav darshan it is not at all external effort at all it is uh, it is advantages for bhakti just by doing archan also if inside the heart from our heart we are doing archan just by taking the actual instruction of guru vaishnav and just by taking the very sweet darshan of the we great will not at all coming in external efforts at all there is by this kind of arrangement you have done kind of archan then definitely it will not happen at all he just want to do something in that by doing that archan similarly 
that ashd prahar kirtan prabhupad already have already spoken has just strictly prohibited us to do because those who are doing ashd prahar kirtan they are all sahajiyas people they are actually actually coming in external efforts they are doing their own efforts they are not at all uh, doing to uh, satisfy bhagwan they are not do, uh, doing those kirtan to do satisfy krishna and to get prema it will definitely this ashd prahar kirtan will definitely is reverse opposite to it will take you in the negative direction it is not at all good vairagya prayas kind of yukta vairagya that is uh, according to that you just need to maintain your life and vairagya uh, external effort you are making apart from that that is it not at all required at all because because bhakti just by getting bhakti inside your heart automatically it will come this is actually natural there in bhakti vairagya is naturally there you will get inside your, separately you cannot get that arrangement to get vairagya it is strictly prohibited to get separate vairagya bhagwan vasudev having that bhakti yoga on to the lotus feet of vasudev that kind of uh, tears are definitely will uh, come inside on, on your eyes and you will develop fear again inside your heart so it is not at all coming in the external efforts at all how it will come in external effort not at all possible so like this with this kind of vichar actually is there different different kind of uh, efforts there is a list of external efforts which you are doing and in that there is a la puja pratishta position name fame you are just making efforts that is the most uh, heinous act you can do that bhakti that kind of uh, efforts towards bhakti whatever is there uh, externally that kind of external efforts it is not at all coming because bhakti is a natural function of the soul in this uh, efforts are actually coming but for external things only but bhakti is a natural function of our soul so in the bhakti this kind of uh, uh, efforts it is not at all coming action bhakti means actions for to satisfy bhagwan it is not at all actually we cannot give him give, give it place in the external efforts what we are doing for material things to gain material things because bhakti is the natural function of the soul and uh, we are doing it to satisfy krishna suprasan bhagwan become too much satisfied with you when you are doing bhakti this is the topmost dharma paro dharma this is the actual dharma of atma so how can it be an external effort it cannot become into external effort at all so i have already told this by this word actually it is uh, this is the topmost which are here it is indicating that those people who are actually pure devotees and who are actually busy in pure activities pure devotional activities and they are doing ekadashi etc and they are actually just reading uh, ved shastra and they are actually understanding themselves and giving understanding to others as well so whatever kind of uh, uh, kriya karma they are doing it will not come into external efforts it will not come in the uh, category of external efforts because this kind of then abhav just by all the devotees are taking this uh, topmost saral bhav innocent and they are actually doing naam sankirtan smaran of krishna and they are all the time with serving attitude they are thinking of krishna and they are serving krishna that i am the krishna das and i am anu chaitanya and i am krishna das and in geeta also i have bhagwan speaken that this is my own divatma is my own uh, ansh of the my shakti my is not speaking that it's my uh, part of a body but uh, it is actually a part of my shakti this all jeevatmas mahavai amsha means that it is actually a part of my shakti only jeevatma so we are actually chitgan that i am chitgan transcendental uh, 
ट्रांसीडेंटल ट्रांसीडेंटल चित का नाम आई एम कृष्ण दास एंड कृष्ण इज माई नित्य प्रभु एंड ऑन टू द लोटस फीट ऑफ कृष्ण देर इज शरणापति दैट इज माई एक्चुअल नित्य स्वभाव दैट वॉट प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली ठाकुर एज गिवन एग्जाम्पल दैट द एक्चुअल नेचर ऑफ द वॉटर इज लिक्विडिटी देर इज लिक्विडिटी इन द वॉटर बट इफ दिस वॉटर एक्चुअली एट सब जीरो लेवल यू आर टेकिंग दैन डेफिनेटली इट विल बिकम आइस एंड आफ्टर बिकमिंग आइस दिस वॉटर विल एक्ट एज इफ देर विल एब नॉर्मल काइंड ऑफ क्वालिटीज यू विल फाइंड इन दैट दैट इज नॉट इज नेचुरल फंक्शन द एक्चुअल फंक्शन ऑफ द वॉटर नेचुरल फंक्शन इज तरल दैट इज वेरी नाइस फ्लोइंग भाव बट दिस वेन यू आर बिकमिंग एट सब जीरो लेट दिस वॉटर इज जस्ट गेटिंग ट्रांसफॉर्म इन टू आइस बट दिस इज द एक्चुअल एब नॉर्मल धर्म फॉर बिकॉज यू आर टेकिंग इट टू सब जीरो लेवल सो दिस काइंड ऑफ थिंग इफ इफ द साधक एक्चुअली हैविंग दिस काइंड ऑफ विचार then then this this kind of uh, external efforts this kind of dosh will not at all uh, touch that sadak different kind of uh, which are i have already told you slowly steadily in front of you gyan karma etc and what are kind of efforts you are doing for that and after that this actually is coming that whatever kind of uh, external efforts i have given you in front of you that apart from that that pratishtha that la puja pratishtha name fame position that is the top most dangerous thing apart from that nothing is more dangerous that is so much dangerous you can't even imagine this kind of uh, uh, this uh, effort is so much dangerous that this will actually uh, will definitely gonna spoil the whole uh, material society and will, every jeevatma will go to hell by following this towards name same name fame position every kind of efforts what uh, baba ji told here he will definitely take you into hell that uh, those who are actually taken shelter of the naam those who are taken shelter of hari naam and hari kirtan under guidance of guru vaishnav they can only get saved and uh, pratishtha that kind of uh, position you want to get in your life this kind of uh, uh, efforts you are making that is the most dangerous uh, thing in your life that is the most heinous act you can do in your life ragunath das goswami pad has just written that is the most uh, top most uh, heinous and f- uh, bad thing to get in life the position what you are getting material position this pratishtha this kind of efforts you are making to get a po- material position this is actually the most heinous uh, act you can do in your life but but that is a top most heinous crime for a jeevatma but you should he, the jeevatma should get very cautious about this why because just to do bhagwat seva we just need to get on to that platform like the case after after speaking hari katha i am actually just sitting at the corner of a house just by having a one a new cloth that kind of uh, that i am just taking one cloth in my house and enjoy at the uh, room of corner of the room and i'll not speak uh, hari katha and pratishtha will come it is not like that sometimes evaks are like that that uh, pratishtha is quite natural automatically it is coming but uh, it is all dependent on you whether uh, you can uh, just be coming uh, it vaishnavi pratishtha you are just rounding up pratishtha is very uh, filthy and dirty but this vaishnavi pratishtha definitely will come automatically definitely it will come in your life so what to do in that case so if you will just with the topmost which are you are actually by that bhakti you are actually relating it to bhakti that you will be actually taking it into arranging it into yukta vairagya and that it will come in the vaishnavi pratishtha then it is okay to take that sanatan go swami pad has written in hari bhakti vilas दिस एक्चुअली ऑलरेडी रिटर्न देर प्रतिष्ठा इन टॉप मोस्ट फॉर्म यू इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू रिजेक्ट दैट ऑल्सो बिकॉज इन द वैष्णव जगत दो टॉप मोस्ट वैष्णव इन दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड फॉर दैम 
दैट गौर किशोर दास बामा जी हैव एक्चुअली आज सम प्रतिष्ठा फ्रॉम सम वन और वेदर हरिदास ठाकुर एज आस्किंग फॉर सम पोजिशन फ्रॉम सम वन मटीरियल पोजिशन नो माधवेंद्रपुरी बॉज वॉज एक्चुअली जस्ट रनिंग फॉर पोजिशन नेम फेम नो इफ दे दिस काइंड ऑफ प्रतिष्ठा दे फ्यू विल एक्चुअली जस्ट रिजेक्ट दैट बिकॉट इज एक्चुअली अरेंज बाई कृष्णा ओनली फॉर द डिवोटिस If if like stool and urine, that you are not at all actually this kind of steel and stool and urine, this kind of pratishta, that position, material position. If you are, it is not at all able. It is no, you are not at all touching it. Then it is good not to touch that. If you know that it is uh, better not to touch this pratishta like stool and urine, then it is better not to touch that. and whatever kind of external efforts you are doing whatever is there according to the varnashram dharm what is actually anukulya for bhakti okay i just need to take this much only especially for the household the devotee just to take what is actually which is against bhakti that kind of uh, activities are strictly prohibited for the household devotees as well what is actually anukulya for bhakti just need, need to do that kind of uh, activities are maharaj we just need to make some money also so that we can maintain our family okay you can do that that is not a problem but that should be actually anukulya to bhakti whatever kind of uh, business or whatever you are doing but it should be anukulya to bhakti in order to maintain your life and on to a modern to maintain the life of your family you just need to do naam sankirtan and hari katha along with that and whatever time you are getting after that what you just need to make sure that your life should maintain like that and you should maintain the life of your relatives as well so but those who are grehi and grehi tyagi these are two kind of persons there one that householder he is the under the varnashram dharma he is he actually getting bhakti anukulya then and after that he is following that varnashram dharma and uh, the, he should be doing bhakti sadhan according to that and he should be doing doing the bhakti sadhan like so that all their main, he can maintain his relatives and families and whatever mother father uh, wife brother whatever he has he just need to uh, maintain their life and whatever uh, uh, food and other necessities they required to maintain their life definitely he has to give to them but in to, in a very maintained and balanced position so that he can just make give some take some money like in the grasti there is lot of money uh, will be going so there is actually no problem in that but those who are tyagi people in hari bhajan they also cannot do this those who are actually uh, it's strictly prohibited for the householders by especially those who are sanyasis their mending and what the kind of bhajan they have that grah tyagi that they will be taking uh, they will be collecting money and uh, taking with them that is strictly prohibited for them that whatever they are madhukari bhiksha they are actually just need to maintain their life by madhukari bhiksha that is their actual goal and role and they just need to do bhakti sadhana according to that any kind of uh, external uh, um, uh, efforts to maintain what is actually which has no connection with bhakti and no connection with uh, krishna yeah, you are doing that for that sanyasi people it is strictly prohibited to uh, do that kind of efforts towards that particular material efforts he can't do that if he is actually going to some to doing like they dying doing like that will doing different different kind of various efforts then definitely it will come into external efforts that will come in atyahar prayas so that will come in that category only इन भागवत जी महापुराण इट इज रिटन विद फुल धैन्य एंड विद फुल सिंपति एंड विद फुल हम्बल मूड यू जस्ट नीड टू डू भजन स्लोली स्टेडली जस्ट बाय गोइंग लाइक दैट दैट कृष्ण तत्व अकॉर्डिंग टू बाय द क्रिप गेटिंग द क्रिपा ऑफ कृष्णा डेफिनेटली यू विल बी जस्ट गेटिंग दैट रियलाइजेशन इन साइड योर हार्ट इन भगवत जी महापुराण ऑल्सो इट इज रिटर्न दैट ब्रह्मा ब्रह्मा जी इज भाव इज लाइक दिस हे कृष्ण यू आर एक्चुअली यू एक्चुअली आर गिविंग मुक्ति दोज हु आर दैट मुक्ति इज एक्चुअली एट द लोटस फीट ऑफ दैट भगवान टू यू एनी पर्सन कैन कैन पुट एनी काइंड ऑफ फॉल्ट ऑन यू नो बडी कैन पुट एनी काइंड ऑफ फॉल्ट ऑन यू 
हे श्री कृष्ण यू आर एक्चुअली मुक्ति पद यू आर गिविंग मुक्ति एंड एट योर लोटस फीट देर देर कैन नॉट बी एनी काइंड ऑफ फॉल्स एट योर लोटस फीट इट इज नॉट एट ऑल पॉसिबल दैट देर कैन बी एनी फॉल्ट एट योर लोटस फीट दैट दे Definitely, just because of my previous uh, fall, or previous uh, misdeeds I have done, just by having that whatever this kind of aruna and anu kanu kampa in order to get that, they are actually just maintaining their life according to them and just leading their life like that. That is actually good to uh, lead your life in this bhav, with this bhav. Lot of slokas actually are there. By kripa, that bhagavat tattva we can understand. By gyan only we can understand that bhagavat tattva. Like Sarvam Bhatta Charya, Gopinath Acharya ji has just told him that you see. Where this kind of you will be just uh, hearing the bhakti tattva. You cannot understand what that uh, actual bhakti tattva. But Sarva Mata is actually not understanding different different kind of questions. He was actually waiting and putting in front of him, and different different kind of uh, logical interpretation he was putting in front of Gopinath Acharya. And at last Gopinath Acharya speaking that okay, this kind of uh, uh, time I don't have in order to put some kind of arguments because in argument that final outcome will never come at all. गोपीनाथ आचार्य हैज टोल्ड गोपीनाथ आचार्य जी हैज जस्ट आचार्य जी हैज जस्ट गोपीनाथ आचार्य जी हैज जस्ट टॉकिंग टू हिज सार्वम भट्टाचार्य दैट काइंड ऑफ आर्ग्यूमेंट He is actually strictly rejecting that kind of arguments. That when you will get that Bhagavad Gita on you, then definitely you can understand that whatever arguing you are argument you are doing that is of no use at all. On to that that Ishwar Tattva Kripa is there only he can understand. Otherwise others can't understand that. By Gyan it is it is possible, but that Gyan should be actually attached to Krishna Seva. Then only he can understand. So here actually, Brahma ji actually, this from the tenth canto, Brahma ji is like speaking that uh, Krish Thakur ji, by my own efforts and uh, my own uh, by my own efforts. Thakur ji, Brahma ji speaking that by by my own efforts, if someone actually want to uh, just get the glorification of your lotus feet, then actually it is all useless to get. That at your lotus feet, that if a very small kripa if he is taking on to a lotus feet, very small shelter you can take, then definitely your glorification and your tat he can just understand by your kripa. But by externally, individually, by his own uh, individual efforts, that without taking any uh, taking shelter of the devotees and your your shelter, if he is actually doing that, then nothing will happen at all. Then from infinity period he can just find you, but still. But under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnav, they are taking their lotus feet shelter. He will is not at all taking a lotus feet shelter in Guru Vaishnav shelter. He can do that individually, but nothing will happen in his life. He can't get anything in his life. He will will be doing everything, but nothing will happen at all. So this kind of thing, this kind of external efforts, what I have told you that prayas, I have it's already just written there. I have just told you, and uh, the third number is. Uh, first question is coming that what do you mean by prajalp because prajalp is actually it is actually strictly against bhakti prajalp should not be there at all if uh, krishna katha is going on and some ishta goshti is going on then actually there is no uh, disadvantage in that if that prajalp is there but it, then it is actually strictly prohibited but if krishna katha is going on and ishta goshti is going on then it is not at all prajalp 
दिस इज नॉट कमिंग इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ प्रजल्प दैट्स वाई दिस प्रजल्प लाइक महाप्रभु हैज ऑलरेडी टोल्ड That it is coming into grammar verb. That material talkings, hours after hours, you are actually sitting and talking all idle talks, all material words you are speaking all the time. This is actually going on all the time. This is actually strictly prohibited. So this prajalp, what do you mean by prajalp? It is very important to understand. And actually, it is against bhakti. This prajalp. Strictly against bhakti. That is the topmost siddhant which are what I am telling you. With the one each other when you are actually discussing something, with each other when you are discussing something, then that is jalpana. It is called prajalpa. In this material world, actually, some lot of persons are they are actually just stopping, uh, start, stop, uh, stop speaking. But uh, how he can stop? How in a regulated way he can just talk? That's the actual point. in this material world the in the in the present situation this whole material world this kind of bahirmukh bhav against bhav it is become so much permanent that all the time that are actually mobile etc they are actually busy in that day and night they are busy in that ec dc vcr everything is busy in that that who can actually stop in this whole material world this kind of uh, discussion that is actually impossible in this material world in the actual present state that hari mukh vivah that is so much top most which is against the hari bhav that that is so much top most that you can't even imagine what kind of stage it has attained the if you are actually talking to anyone anyone you want to talk with someone it can be under the category I'll give you one example regarding this. Like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in Chaitanya Bhagavat, Chaitanya in Chaitanya Bhagavat, he Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu at the time of Avir Baba Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu before before that only, Shri Lavinda Vandas Thakur Mahasaye, Shri Lavinda Vandas Thakur Mahasaye ji, as told. He has taken the actual condition of the whole Navadvip all around. It. It's just like taking the marriage of uh, uh, dog and cats, and they are actually marriage of dolls. Everything, everyone is busy in that. They they are doing some time Mangal Chandi, and someone actually they are doing the seva of uh, Saturn, and someone they are giving water to Durga Ma. So all the four direction there is actually no symptom of bhakti at all at that time, and all Advait Gosai. He is actually in a very silent place. All the all the time he used to speak Hari Katha in front of the devotees, and the devotees are very much uh, limited. It's very very limited, very rare. It's very very rare who those who are actually hearing Hari Katha, and they are actually just all the devotees and Advait Gosain. They are actually feeling very regret for everyone. They are feeling that where where to go, wherever we are actually going, this whole material people we are actually getting uh, in front of them, and we just need to speak in that whether you are going to the market, whether in the ghat. No, actually, no one is devotee at all. There is actually not even a single person that he can speak about that absolute truth about the aprakrish of the Brahm in this whole material world at present. That though this kind of Krishna Bahirmukh Bhav that is so much topmost that uh, with no one actually we will be discussing. They will not be discussing uh, anything re- relating to Krishna. They have to actually prajal. It will it will come in prajal when you are talking uh, rubbish or material things with them. Like where you are going in the office, or whether in the court, or whether in the market, you are going wherever you will go. Like you will go to take milk also. Wherever you will go, dev in the bank also you will go. That in restaurant also, in office everywhere you will go. Definitely you need to speak. Uh, it will become that kind of bahir muk association. Our uh, external association will definitely will get in your life. You how to whom you will talk with. This uh, present situation, that kind of so strict Hari Vimuk Bhav is actually just getting spreaded. That even if you will be just speaking to anyone, that it will come in the category of uh, prajalp. What to do in that case? What is the actual technique to just get rid of that? How to just get protected from this thing? How to just get protected from that? So like this, 
दो भक्ति साधक भक्ति डिबोटिस दोज हु आर एक्चुअली डूइंग एक्चुअली साधन भक्ति ऑफ भगवान ऑल द टाइम बिजी इन दैट फॉर देम फॉर देम दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ दिस काइंड ऑफ वेरी डेंजरस सिचुएशन इज देयर फॉर देम टू गेट द भक्ति अनुशीलन टू गेट द भक्ति अनुशीलन इन ऑर्डर टू डू भक्ति अनुशीलन इट इट मे बी फॉर हिम देर कैन बी सम प्रजल फॉर हिम आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड इट प्रीवियसली अबाउट दिस पॉइंट दैट इफ आई एम आई एम गोइंग समिष्ट गोष्ठी विद सम डिवोटिस विद माई गॉड ब्रदर एंड आई एम एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग अबाउट हरी कथा विद माई अबाउट सिद्धांत विचार देन इट विल नॉट एट ऑल कम इन प्रजल वॉट इज एक्चुअली भक्ति अनुकूल वॉट इज अनुकूल यू फॉर भक्ति इट मीन्स दैट जस्ट बाई टेकिंग भक्ति अनुशीलन वस्तु देर आर डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रजल्प कैन बी देयर इन दैट एंड दिस प्रजल्प ऑल दिस प्रजल्प दिस दैट इज एक्चुअली अनुकूल्य टू भक्ति आई यू कैन गो टू ब्रह्म गीता एज वेल I am actually not asking you to just uh, uh, speak uh, to re- read that because it is strictly prohibited to read. Here in Brahma Gita, Radha Rani, actually when Uddhav ji came there to Braj Dham, Radha Rani at the lotus feet of Radha Rani just to take uh, the his lotus feet. Then Radha Rani has this kind of bhav. She is actually uh, uh, manifesting that there is one uh, black bee. She is actually talking with that. Hey, you stop. Uh, uh you you stop talking i don't know what kind of bhav you have but you are that black bee is just uh, doing uh, the moon bee sound that is called actually prajalp ko pujalp ko samjalp ko pujalp ko bahut hai lot of things are there if you will actually just here you will just uh, be you know mind get rounded off you cannot digest that so lot of जल्प आर देयर बट देर एक्चुअली ऑल अनुकूल्य टू कृष्ण भक्ति इट इज एक्चुअली वॉट राधा रानी डूइंग इट एक्चुअली इन भ्रमर गीता इज एक्चुअली ऑल अनुकूल्य टू भक्ति सो दिस एक्चुअली इज देयर दिस इन द डिवोट इज दैट काइंड ऑफ मेटीरियल टॉकिंग आर नॉट एट ऑल देयर वॉट आर एक्चुअली भक्ति अनुकूल्य एंड सिद्धांत विचार इफ यू आर स्पीकिंग देन एक्सटर्नली यू कैन फाइंड दैट इट इज एक्चुअली प्रजल्प बट दैट इज नॉट एट ऑल प्रजल्प This is not at all prajal, not coming in the category of prajal. Shila Rupa Swami Pad has uh, just uh, written lot of things here, and I don't have any time to just uh, speak about that also now. Lot of which are actually is already written there. That Padda Nuvad is also there. It is written there. रूप गोस्वामी पाद जस्ट रिटर्न देयर बर्मानुवाद इट्स यू आर ऑलरेडी रिटर्न शास्त्र जस्ट टू रीड शास्त्र दैट इज एक्चुअली ऑल अनुकूल्य टू भक्ति दैट इज ऑल अनुकूल्य टू भक्ति That is not at all against bhakti. That this anya bilasita shunyam, even if you can uh, just uh, that uh, kirtan suti, just to read shastra vichar, everything is jalpana. But still, if kind of anya bilas, you are not at all becoming uh, anya bilas shunya. That that anya bilas is not at all going from your height. and if he is actually away from anya vilas if some sadhu and he is actually just speaking uh, krishna katha and he has no anya vilas inside his heart he is actually uh, free from anya vilas then it will not come in the category of prajal if some material desire and lust is there inside uh, is he is speaking hari katha then it will come in the category of uh, anya vilas very actually in depth discussion is there in that 
very in depth visha is there to talk about that will become prachal for him so that's why jeev go swami pad has just written bhakta sharago nirago divido parikirtita bhakta to shimka bhakta are of two types one is one is sarag that inside his heart that he has top most material desires and lust is there a lot of things he need he is actually speaking uh, harikatha just to get position name fame so it will definitely con is harikatha is not actual harikatha it is just material chattering this is prajalpa if someone actually becoming uh, silent and still he prajalp can go on inside his heart this apart from god ever nobody from the whole material uh, world this kind of discussion not at all going on i have already told you previously a lot of days before that prabhupad ji has just uh, seen brahmachari in a very silent place he is in the corner not speaking anything and all the brahmachari that uh, uh, with each other they are uh, actually discussing about serving how to serve krishna and prabhupad actually speaking in that place and coming and speaking that why actually is speaking so much chattering that brahmachari why is actually speaking so much and uh, all other people actually speaking actually is not speaking anything from his mouth but prabhupad ji actually speaking that inside his heart the prajalp is going on inside his heart he will go in the house and just be marrying some lady or whether he will not be doing everything actually this kind of prajalp is going on inside his mind so this kind of in depth which are so much in depth which are of bhajan is there that even our hairs of the uh, hairs of our head will definitely go off if if still if you have this kind of uh, ad- adacity or courage then you just go and keep on doing bhajan like that if you have this kind of courage to do bhajan then you can do so kirtan stuti shastra paath hari katha this is not at all coming in the category of prajalpa it is not at all coming but can be coming if you are that kind of anna is is not free from anya vilas so actually top most in depth discussion is there we haven't actually heard about this kind of vichar you have heard this kind of vichar no not at all i don't think if uh, we are that uh, we are becoming anavila chashuryam that we have no kind of uh, desire inside our heart materially then it will become krishna nushilan but if actually this situation becomes reverse then it will definitely come in the category of prajalp krishna to fir to then what is the actual final siddhant here that what is actually pratikul to krishna bhakti whatever is there that on kal come in the category of prajalpa that is come in the category of uh, devote uh, bhakti which is against uh, against bhakti so sadhak is actually so much uh, clever that those who are doing krishna bhajan he is actually so clever that in order to just uh, uh, just uh, making him fool it is not at all possible you are be doing any plan and program definitely he going to understand what you are actually planning and programming lot of pers- lot of the things have they have everything they have destroyed and they have just destroyed themselves only even one hair they can't even pluck so much actually kind of uh, uh, so much actually cleverness and smart they want to like in the case of a girl woman they are sending but nothing they can do in in that case they cannot do anything because he is doing actual vaishnav seva those who have that kind of uh, topmost vichar inside their heart that they will definitely go and serve guru vaishnav then no one can do anything to them so siddhant is there actually krishna bhakti ka that uh, krishna bhakti what is actually pratikul is there you, that is actually all against bhakti only the sadaks it is act- he, they are actually very cautious about all these kind of wishes you just be very careful each and every time a fraction of second you just need to this kind of vichar whether i am going in the opposite way or whether i am going in the uh, straight path so this kind of vichar everyone has just uh, you know removed that this everyone has removed this kind of vichar what kind of vichar we have to do they oh, just we will be doing seva according to our own uh, uh, faulty mind so everything is destroyed nobody want to do service they know that just by doing this definitely everything will uh, get open in front they will become naked they don't want to do according to guru vaishnav some person actually speaking that uh, that there is actually one kambal you will be just uh, taking that uh, uh, that uh, kind of fur from that kambal if you are taking then that you are not at all feeling anything in that kambal bhakti no thakur speaking that agar dusht 
if there is actually is a very clever and uh, very clever and uh, dreadful uh, uh, cows are there then it's better that my uh, i don't want to increase the number of cows in the goshala it's better that the goshala will remain empty so just by the anugatya of all the mahajans just by taking the approval of mahajans that uh, this actually of the mahajans this is actually approved by mahajans what is actually approved by mahajans that is under the anugatya of mahajans that just by sitting that you are actually just be sitting at 11 o'clock to guru pad padma and you are just be discussing some kind of shastra with them definitely 2 to 2:30 you just sit in the afternoon and you just need to un- understand or uh, discussing shastra it is not at all prajal under the guidance of mahajans you need to do that just to speak hari katha under the guidance of mahajans is not at all prajal so this mahajan anugatya actually is there it is very much uh, acceptable this is not at all actually uh, against it's a very far distant thing that this kind of uh, i am just doing aarti of this kind of vichar all the time we definitely we need to take that sadhu sang in our life then all kind of uh, association with other devotees this is to go is very much important that mahajan anugatya this is uh, full of anand actually that by mahajans which is actually approval with all that approval is given in this kind of work there is actually no kind of fault in that what mahajan has told and actually is there in fault in that it is not at all possible for all those vaishnav the no kind of fault they uh, can touch those vaishnavs that by the approval of all those mahajans that kind of prajalpa is actually coming you just with full respect you just need to uh, take that we are actually following that as a duty sometimes 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 this kind of thing is also coming that all this mahajan they are actually not speaking anything they are speaking hey you don't speak anything like is one moni baba ashram is there that mahatyagi ashram is there moni 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 baba ashram is there Uh, that in order to speak hari kath is actual silent actual mon if he is actually not at all speaking that is becoming moni baba then definitely definitely he is actually speaking chattering a lot prabhupad always speaking that baireer anugaman path bandh kore ha kono ek ha e jo jada jagat ka vyakti that this all material people of this material world inside their stomach all kind of material words are actually speaking in their stomach and they are actually putting a key uh, of lock onto their mouth it is not at all possible they will definitely get loose motion inside their body because material words are already there inside their stomach bhakta ji ve mauna sajbar khamota nai kadapi mauna nahi ho they cannot definitely become mon silent but inside their heart that kind of material sound word it's just like boiling like bhut bhat bhut bhat inside the stomach that uh, who is not at all actually doing a uh, actual hari kirtan under guidance of shuddh guru vaishnav they can become uh, silent because he feel actually speaking uh, silent also still his hari katha is going on inside his heart if sadhu is actually some silent he is not at all silent externally he is silent but inside his heart hari katha is going on his hari katha is not at all stopping how what kind of siddhant i have to speak and what kind of siddhant he will hear and just remember everything all the time is going on that is not at all coming in the category of prajalpa and those who are moni this definitely come in uh, moni for those moni baba this their list name of list will definitely come in the category of prajalpa it will come in the category of prajalpa only in their in that list of prajalpa only for us that we have to have to do the uh, become the dust particle of uh, rup goswami pad that is our actual aim sometimes that those who are ati bhakta like shruti smriti were previously a lot of time i have told like this sometimes uh, you can see that a uh, big uh, that very big mahajan has come and he is actually speaking you just don't speak anything uh, in front of him just hear his hari katha that he is speaking he is thinking that himself is a very b- d- great devotee hey don't speak anything in front of him be silent 
when he is speaking hari katha is uh, some kind of uh, disadvantage this will be top most advantage you just be silent and from the gate from the goat it gate it is written yeah you don't speak anything here you just need to place your uh, shoes here and you can take that mahaprasadam hall is there like this they are speaking but uh, don't speak anything with the full silent mood you just be there don't speak anything from him this is actually topmost prajalp you are foolish number 1 they are actually foolish this is more prajalp in your life you will get we are actually under the guidance of rup goswami path we just want to become the dust particle of rup goswami path so the anugatya of rup goswami path what all those guru varg and mahajans are there we just need to get their association and according to that we have to we need to follow that pathway only they are not at all actually following their own individual path way that they are not at all following their own rules and regulations do you just this is you have to do at the tap prasadam time you have to do at the time of aarti are your father has done this your grandfather has done this ha eh? you are not at all actually following guru parampara at the prasad time we have to do this what to do you can't do on your own you have this kind of uh, thing that you, if you have to separate time you are speaking hari katha at the time of prasad you are definitely you will be just uh, disrespecting hari katha prasad will definitely come but this hari katha is different so they are all actually foolish can't understand all they are actually rubbish they are actually new 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 kind of rules and regulations what our guru varg have and done why actually we will do that ha huh? new new regulations not at all possible up till this point today i will just be giving a uh, rest up till this point and whatever uh, kind of desire we have to just uh, discuss this whatever is there we i just need to give uh, uh, rest up till this point so pralad maharaj ji shlokas definitely it is important i will be doing that kind of explanation of that pralad maharaj shlok jeev jeev vai kato achito vikar sati ma vitripta शिष्णोन्नतस्तक उदर शवन कुतचि घ्राणोन्नत पलद्रिक्वाचकर्म शक्तिर्बो शपत्न इव गृहपति लुलुंती वाचकल्पतुर्ष के पास सिंधुवच पतितान भावन भविष्णभ्यो नमो नमः